Hello everyone, welcome to Global Online. In this lecture, we are going to see most expected MCQ on information and communication technology. So today we are going to discuss the most important MCQ from this unit, which is really important for your upcoming exam. So do watch this lecture to clear all your doubt about the same and you will receive my lecture every day at 7 a.m. So do visit our channel every day at 7 in the morning and do watch my lecture to score more marks in the upcoming exam. So before we move forward, there is one announcement. The students who are preparing for UGC NET 2022 exam with the Global Online is offering 2000 plus MCQ quick revision PDF. Students, there is very less time remaining for your exam and this is a guaranteed PDF in which we are providing your current affair question with the detailed explanation plus PYQs with the detailed explanation, most expected MCQ and most repeated MCQ which is really important for your upcoming exam. This PDF will help you to revise all the topic in detail. To get the PDF, please contact on given number. Do WhatsApp message here. Okay. And the PDF is available just for rupees 599. So do message here and get the PDF and start your preparation. Length 10 4. So here in this question, they ask you the full form of length, for which the first option here is local and national. Second one is local area network. Third one is large area network. And the last one is live area network. So the length stand for local area network. A network is a group of a two or more connected computer. A LAN is a network content within the small geographic area usually within the same building okay the home wi-fi network or a small business network are a common example of a LAN so example here we can consider is home wi-fi or a small business network so here the option b will be the correct answer for this question so len is a local area network what is fishing so here in this question they ask you about the fishing for which the first option here is sending data to the hacker second one is someone sent legitimate looking email to the user third one is search automatically for an item on the internet and the last one is checking the spelling of website okay so the phishing attack are the practice of sending a fraudulent communication that appear to come from the replicate source it is a usually done through the email okay so it is a practice of sending fraudulent communication through the mail okay it is a goal the goal is to steal the sensitive data like a credit card login information or to install the malware on the victim machine the phishing is a common type of a cyber attack. That everyone should learn about the protect themselves. The first phishing lawsuit was a fill in year 2004. Okay. Other than the email and the website phishing, there is also wishing that is a voice phishing. Please remember this. Wishing that is a voice wishing. Okay, and also the SMS wishing is there. And several other phishing techniques are a cyber criminal are a constantly coming up. Okay. So here the correct answer will be option number two. A phishing is someone sends the legumes looking emails to the user. 
The ability to read and write each piece of a information in a storage device is approximately the same length of a time of its location is. So here in this question, they given you the four options and they ask you the ability to read and write of each piece of a information in the storage device is approximately of the same length of a time of its location is. For which the first option is sequential access. Second one is raster scan. Third one is search and the last one is random access. So here the random access in a computer science, the random access is a capability to have access to any item from a given population of an element at a random. The random access is opposite to the sequential access as a sequential access located element by the beginning at a particular predefined location and then traversing through all the information in order to find out a given item. The random access have gained the interest due to the fact that one have a retrieve record irrespective of the position in which it is located. The random access is also known as a direct access so here the correct answer is option number four the ability to read and write each piece of information in the storage device is approximately the same length of a time of its location is a random access which of the following hardware was used by first generation computer so here in this question, they given you the examples of some hardware and they ask you which hardware was used by a first generation computers for which the first option here is transistor. Second option is vacuum tube. Third option is VLSI and the last option is integrated circuit. A computer has evolved from a last style simple calculating machine to much smaller machine capable of a multiple functions each generation of a computer is a design based on the hardware technology used leading to a better cheaper and a powerful computer that are a faster and efficient than the precedious okay so here the first generation that is between 1940 to 1956 used the vacuum tube for a circulatory and a magnetic drum for a memories the very expensive large in size slow in processing and had a less storage capacity this machine is a use as a level language for a programming level language for programming so the correct answer here is option number two that is vacuum tube was used by the first generation computer python is so here in this question they ask you about the python for which the first option is a programming language second one is an operating system third one is an application program and the last one is compiler Okay, so here the Python is a interpretable high level and a general purpose programming language. Okay, and it is a created and a first published in year 1991. The Python design the philosophy strength and the readability of a code with its a impressive use of sustainable white space. The goal of a language construct and an object oriented approach is to help the programmer help programmer to write simple logical code from small to large project Hello. 
The Python is a dynamically type and a dust collected. It supports the multiple programming paradigms, including the structured, object-oriented, and the functional programming. And due to its extensive standard library, Python is also defined as a batteries included language. So the Python is programming language. So option one will be the correct here. A type of memory that hold a computer startup routine. So here in this question they ask you a type of memory which hold a computer startup routine is. For which the first option is cache. Second option is RAM. Third option is DRAM. And the last option is ROM. So here the ROM stand for read only memory. Read only memory rom is a storage device which is a used with a computer and a other electronic device okay the data stored in the rom may be only be a read okay rom is a used for a firmware updates which means it contain the basic instruction of what need to be happen when the computer is power on the firmware is also known as bios or a basic input or a output system the rom is a non volatile storage which means the information is maintained even if the component lost the power the rom is a located on the bios chip which is a plug into the motherboard and rom play the critical part of booting up and starting up the computer so here the correct answer for this question is option number 4 that is rom what is the full form of abbreviation bios here in question they ask you the full form of bios for which the first option here is big information online system second one is binary input output software third one is basic input output system and the last one is binary inner open software so the bios that is basic input output system is a program personal computer microprocessor uses to get the computer system started after you turn on it manages the data flow it manage data flow between the computer programming system and attach the device such as a hard disk video updater keyboard mouse and a printer the bios is a firmware and it is a store on the chip part of the computer motherboard and a basically a set of a instruction that run to help load the operating system so here the correct answer for this question is option number 3 the full form of bios is basic input output system what is the full form of crt so here in this question they ask you the full form of crt for which the first option here is compact root transmission second one is cathode ray tube third one is common rate of transfer and the last one is command rating test okay so here the cathode ray tube is the vacuum tube containing one or more electronic guns a beam of which are manipulated to display the image on the photosporin screen okay the image may represent a electronic wave form pictures radar target or other phenomena the crt on the television set is a commonly called picture tube so here the correct answer will be option number b that is cathode ray tube using website to pour out one's grievance is called so here in this question they given you the four option and they ask you using website to pour out one's grievance is called for which the first option is cyber venting second option is cyber ranting third option is web hate and the last option is web plea 
ओके सो द टर्म इन्वेंटेड फॉर दिस इज अ साइबर वेंटिंग वेंटिंग अवर एंगर बाय इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मींस सम एम्प्लॉयर हैव इवन सेट अप द ऑफिशियल ग्रुपिंग साइट ऑन द इंटरनल वेब सिस्टम रीजनिंग दैट इज अ बेटर टू गेट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट आउट इन द ओपन एंड दे हैव अ प्रॉब्लम फास्टर इन द डार्क a term has also been applied to the website set up by the people who are angry at the treatment they have received from the retailer or a supplier and also to the mass emailing to the staff by the grievant ex worker as the you know recent case in a intel so here the correct answer for this question is option number a using website to pour out one's grievance is called cyber venting what is the full form of crc so here in this question they ask you the full form of crc for which the first option is computerized redundancy cracker second option is real time cycle command third option is cyclical redundancy check and the last option is command and relevant control okay so crc means a cyclical redundancy check is a error detecting code please remember this is error detecting code which is a commonly used in a digital network and a storage device to detect accidental change of a raw data block of a data entering this system get a short check value attached based on the reminder of a polynomial division of their content so here the correct answer will be option number c that is cyclical redundancy check will be the correct answer for crc what is the full form of dos so here in this question they ask you the full form of dos for which the first option here is department of service second one is data on service third one is disk operating system and the last one is data of system a disk operating system is a computer operating system that reside on and can use a disk storage device such as a floppy disk hard disk drive or a optical disk a disk operating system must provide a file system for organizing reading and writing the file on the storage device okay so it is a computer operating system so here the correct answer for this question will be option number c that is disk operating system will be the correct here in web search finding a large number of a document with very little relevant information is term so in this question they given you the four option and they ask you in a web search finding a large number of a document with a very little relevant information is term as what for which the first option is poor recall second option is web crawl third option is poor presence rate and the last option is poor web response okay so the presence is the fraction of retrieved document that is relevant to the query for example for a text search on the set of document presence is a number of a correct result divided by the number of all the written result recall is a fraction okay of the relevant document that are successfully retrieved so here the correct answer for this question will be option number a in web search finding a large number of a document with a very little relevant information is term as poor recall the concept of connect intelligence is derived from 
so here in this question they ask you about the concept of connect intelligence which is derived from for which the first option here is virtual reality second one is functional logic third one is bluetooth technology and the last one is value added networks so the connect intelligence which is also known as ci involve the coming together and sharing the knowledge among the group and secondly it involve the action or a goal oriented activity yielding a new knowledge as a key contribution to the organization so here the correct answer for this question is option number d the concept of connect intelligence is derived from value added networks video transmission over the internet that look like delay live casting is called so here in this question they ask you video transmission over the internet which look like a delay live casting is called for which the first option is virtual video second one is direct broadcast third one is video shift and the last one is real time video so the real time video the transmission of live video it implies that there is a no delay in receiving side or most uh, delay although a video broadcast that is a stream or live may be consider the real time video okay and there is a intentional buffer delay at the receiving end the true real time videos capacity is required in a two way video calling or a video conferencing session So here the correct answer for this question is option number D. Video transmission over a internet that look like a delay live casting is called real time video. What is the full form of CD ROM? So here in this question they ask you about the CD ROM or the full form of the CD ROM for which the first option here is compact data ROM, second one is computerized data ROM, third one is compact disk read only memory and the last one is credible data room so a cd room is the compact disk read only memory is a prepress optical compact disk that contain the data prepress compact disk okay computer can read but not write or erase the cd rom that is it is a type of read only memory so here the correct answer will be option number c cd rom is a compact disk read only memory